Hello, my dear students. In this video, we will discuss about some important aspects of problem solving. When it comes to problem solving in physics, student will feel some difficulty. But what we have to do is initially we have to concentrate more on the concepts rather than the formulae or shortcuts or something. I will explain you the few aspects, important aspects of problem solving or how to solve problems when you study, all those things we will see. I will explain it by giving an example. A body is thrown vertically upwards, covers equal distances in fourth and seventh seconds. The velocity of projection is there are four options given. Now, uh, for any student okay, who is little serious about entrance examination and who has studied the synopsis or the formula in the motion in a straight line chapter, he will definitely remember the S n formula S n is equal to distance travelling nth second S n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2 n minus 1. Because they are speaking about distance travelled in fourth second, seventh second, no, seventh, fourth means distance travelled in nth second. So, you will remember the equation S n is equal to S n is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2 n minus 1. We will see how to solve this problem using this equation. S for distance travelled in fourth second is equal to u initial velocity we have to find out initial velocity acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 minus 10 by 2 is minus 5 into 2 into 4 8 8 minus 1 7 so s4 is equal to u minus 35 say this is my equation number 1 what does s7 is equal to s7 is equal to u minus 10 by 2 minus 5 into 2 into 7 14, 14 minus 1 13. So, 13 into 5 is 65. So, S 7 is equal to u minus 65. Now, if you look at these two equations S 7 and S 4 we are given that S 4 is equal to S 7, distance travelled in fourth second is equal to distance travelled in seventh second. But if you subtract this, if you subtract equation number 1 from 2, what happens? This u gets cancelled okay. or if you add one more unknown term will remain here. Now, what then how we, we can solve this equation? we should have a physical picture if the distance travelled in fourth second has to be equal to distance travelled in seventh second means object is not going only upwards if the object is continuously going upwards then speed decreases every second correct na no? distance travelled in fourth second will be more than distance travelled in seventh second because as the object goes up speed decreases so, if the distance travelled in fourth second has to be equal to distance travelled in seventh second, then during fourth second object must be going upwards and during seventh second object must be coming downwards. This is very important. If this picture comes into your mind, you can solve this problem very easily using any formula. See what to do? During fourth second the object is going upwards. So, when the object is going upwards, displacement is positive, we know. When the object is going downwards, displacement is negative. So, S 7, I can write it as negative and magnitude of S 4 equal to magnitude of S 7. Now, if I add two equations, 1 plus 2 if I perform, 1 plus 2, what happens? S 4 and S 7 gets cancelled because 1 is plus and there is minus. u plus u will be 2 u. 0 equal to 2 u minus 35 minus 65 is minus 100 minus 100 or 2 u equal to 100 
u is equal to 50 meter per second. We got the answer 50 meter per second. Now, what we have to observe is if this picture does not come in our mind, we cannot solve the problem because if you just take help of equation, what happens is uh, uh, we cannot simplify the equation because we have to put minus symbol here even though these two are given to be equal in the problem. Okay. Now, once this picture comes into your mind, what we can do? You know, if distance travelled in fourth second is equal to distance travelled in seventh second, then definitely distance travelled in fifth second will be equal to distance travelled in sixth second. And during fifth second object is going upwards, during sixth second object is coming downwards. Okay. At the end of five seconds, fifth second, at the end of fifth second time is five seconds or in the beginning of sixth second the time is five second only. So, what do we what do we understand? We know that time of maximum height, time of maximum height is 5 second, and at the maximum height, velocity is 0, we know these two points. So, therefore, I can also use the equation v is equal to u plus a t when t becomes t maximum, v becomes 0 or 0 equal to u acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 into 5, or what do we get? u is equal to 50 meter per second. Now, what did we use? We used the equation v is equal to u plus a t and we got the answer. The moment you read the question, it appears like this can be solved using the equation uh, S n. Okay, we can solve, but this will be easier. Okay. One more, uh, we can also use x is equal to u t plus half a t square also. How? We will see. What happens if I use x is equal to u t plus half a t square equation? x is equal to u t plus half a t square. Now, distance travelled in fourth second is equal to distance travelled in seventh second means distance travelled in third second is equal to distance travelled in eighth second, distance travelled in second second is equal to distance travelled in ninth second, distance travelled in first second is equal to distance travelled in tenth second or tenth second will be the last second. Distance travelled first second is equal to distance travelled in last second what I got? I got time of flight, time of flight 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, what is the displacement of the object? Displacement of the object is 0, because the ball was thrown from here. Na? At t is equal to 5 second, it is at the maximum height. When the t is equal to 10 second, it comes back to the original position, because the object is thrown vertically upwards. So, displacement is 0 in 10 seconds. So, if I substitute t is equal to 0, x I should substitute 0, t is equal to 10 then x I should substitute 0. So, what happens to this equation? 0 is equal to u, u is oh, we do not know we have to find out into 10 minus 10 by 2 is minus 5 into 10 square, 10 square is 100 okay. or uh, 10 u is equal to 500 or u is 50 meter per second we got it. We got it using v is equal to u plus a t, we got it using x is equal to u t plus half a t square okay. and we can also get it using the equation of time of light also. What is the time of light equation in projectile motion chapter? Time of light is equal to 2 u sin theta by g, 2 u sin theta by g. It is a vertical projection, projected vertically upwards. What is angle of projection? Angle of projection is 90 degree. So, sin 90 is 1. So, time of flight is 2u by g. Time of flight is 2u by g. If you look at the problem, we will come to know that time of flight is greater than 7 seconds because during 4 second also object was moving, during 7 seventh second also object is moving. So, time of flight you know it should be greater than 7 seconds we will use that equation t is equal to time of flight is equal to 2 u by g i will write it here okay we will take the first option u is 30 30 into 2 60 60 by 10 6 seconds no time of flight is greater than 7 second we know so this cannot be the answer 40 second 2 into 40 80 
by 10 is uh, 8 seconds time of flight can be 8 seconds okay because time of flight is greater than 7 second okay this is a possibility then 50 meter per second is also possible 40 is also possible okay 10 meter per second is not possible because 2 into 10 is 20 20 by 10 is uh, 20 by 10 is 2 second 2 second is not possible so we have to choose between 40 and 50 now during first second object was going up na during first second object was going up so after that also for a little time means velocity of projection should be greater than 40 why it should be greater than 40 if you throw an object upward with a, with a speed of 10 meter per second in one second 10 will become zero because acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 meter per second per second means acceleration will kill the velocity by a factor of minus 10 per second means if the velocity of projection is 30 meter per second t is equal to 0 velocity is 30 meter per second uh, when it goes up t is equal to 1 velocity is 20 meter per second t is equal to 2 velocity is 10 meter per second t is equal to 3 velocity is 0 so what acceleration due to gravity is doing it is subtracting the velocity by a factor of minus 10 for every second so fourth second object is going up means initial velocity projection is greater than 40 meter per second because fifth second also it is moving okay so i can eliminate 40 second also 40 meter per second also 10 meter per second also i can go for 50 meter per second okay and you can also use x is equal to vt minus half a t square equation also okay now what we have to observe here is and see we can also use a shortcut what is a shortcut i'll write somewhere here u is equal to t1 plus t2 minus 1 into 5 t1 plus t2 minus 1 into 5 so what happens t1 is 4 plus t2 minus 1 7 minus 1 6 4 plus this is 10 10 into 5 50 meter per second directly i could have solved this problem like this but what happens if you use the shortcut will not be you will not be knowing what is happening in the problem you can use this only if you understand the situation properly otherwise you can't use this equation it will be a burden to your memory okay if you use this shortcut so you will not be knowing what is actually happening in the problem okay when we solve using sn we try to understand what is actually happening in the problem and when we wrote this diagram the understanding of the concept has been increased Okay, when we solve this problem using different methods, our conceptual understanding has been increased. So now, what what is important is the concept. Same problem will not come in the examination, but problem may come from the same concept. So what is important for us is concepts, not the problems. Okay. Now, uh, even while during uh, solving problems, say you are preparing for entrance examinations, so you are referring a book. Okay. So, you solve uh, say you choose initial 40 uh, first 30 questions and you start solving okay. you solve first question over you solve second you are trying to solve second question and you are not trying to you are not getting the answer you refer the solution when you refer the solution you feel that oh this is very simple I can solve it then uh, uh, like that uh, like that you will solve 30 questions out of which 5 or 6 you have solved on your own for remaining problems say you have taken the help of the hint. Okay after looking at the hint you understood that oh this is very simple and i understood actually you are not so the problems which we have solved on our own is important see most of the times what happens in the class is a paper is given teacher will be solving the problems most of the problems is solved with the teacher and he will give the hint after that he will solve okay but initial hint initial idea is given by the teacher or sometimes some of your friends will shout sir this is the equation then what happens they will induce their idea in your mind so that uh, what you have to observe is that idea is not originated in your mind okay if one idea gets originated in your mind same idea can come into your mind again and again okay so that is how you have to increase your uh, problem solving uh, skills so you should make sure that how many say you you solve more problems on your own without referring any a formula book or without referring solution or without taking help of friends.